another edition of 60 Days with Nat Jones. You guys want to get great abs, a flatter stomach? Well, I found a great workout for you. It's in this month's issue of Maximum Fitness. It is by Maya Murphy and programmed by Jerry Candela. Now, it's called the 3000 Abs Workout. And the reason why it's called the 3000 Abs Workout, because it's made up of 18 different exercises that you can combine into 3000 different types of workouts. Let's check it out. The first exercise in the lower ab portion is the reverse flat bench crunch. Lay down on a flat bench, put your feet on the floor, put your hands behind your head, grabbing the bench. Then curl your legs up towards your chest and then lift your legs straight up in front of you. The next exercise for your lower abs is called the hanging leg raise. Now you're going to start out by grabbing your power tower or chin up bar. Bend your knees slightly, and this helps you from swaying back and forth and maintaining your balance. And then lift your legs straight up. Now you want to do this slow and steady so you don't rock. See, when I do it fast, I rock, but when I do it slow, I maintain control. The next exercise is called the dumbbell V up. Now you can do this exercise with a medicine ball or a plate. You want to start out by laying on the ground, grab your dumbbell, and put it behind your head at arm's length. Then you're going to lift your legs up and the dumbbell and form your body into a V at the same time. One motion. The next exercise is called the physio ball leg raise. Lay down and with your ankles hold the ball at the bottom portion. This already engages my core. Take your hands and put them underneath your hips to support your lower back. And then raise the ball straight up. To make this exercise harder, move your hands to the side if you have a good lower back. The last exercise in the lower ab portion is scissor kicks. Lay down, take your hands and put them behind your glutes. Lift your feet two to three inches off the floor, and then kick up and down. We move into the upper ab portion now. The first exercise in the upper ab portion is the weighted dumbbell crunch. Get yourself a light dumbbell and grab it on both ends and hold it straight up over your body. Simply lift your shoulders off the ground like so, and perform a crunch. To make this exercise harder, grab another light dumbbell and perform the same motion. The next exercise is the weighted stability ball crunch. Grab a wet medicine ball, dumbbell, or plate. Lay down on your ball, put the weight above you, and then simply Raise your shoulders off the ball and perform a crunch, just like you would on the floor. Another variation of the weighted stability ball crunch is the angle stability ball crunch. Now, you do basically the same thing, except that you take your weight and you place it at an angle to perform the crunch. Now, the further back you go with your weight, the harder this crunch is. The next exercise is called the kneeling cable crunch. Now if you're at the gym, you can use the cable system that they have there, along with the rope handle to perform this exercise. At home, however, you can use resistance bands instead. Now for the kneeling cable crunch. Get down on your knees, then bring your torso parallel to the floor, squeezing your midsection at the same time. The next exercise is called the physio ball cable crunch. Now, if you're at the gym, you can use the cable system that they have there. At home, you can use resistance bands instead. And this is how the exercise looks. Lay on your ball, and then perform a crunch. The next area that we're moving into is the oblique area. 
The oblique area starts off with oblique crunches. You want to lay down on your back, your knees bent. Take your hands and put them behind your head. Take one leg and cross it over the other leg. The elbow that's opposite of the leg that's crossed over is the one that you want to bring up and crunch the elbow to the knee. Make sure you switch sides and crunch the other side as well. The next exercise is called the reaching crossover crunch. You're going to lay down on the ground with your knees bent and your hands straight at your sides. You're going to reach over with your right hand to your left side and with your left hand to your right side. Your hand should just come just below your knee. Nice little crunch. Next exercise is called twisting leg raises. Get yourself up in the captain's chair. Just simply lift up your legs and twist them on the way up. The next exercise is called the oblique crunch with stability ball. You want to get the ball in the middle of your back. Once you do that, take your hands and put them behind your head and crunch to the opposite side. The next exercise is called the lion twist with medicine ball. Lay down on the ground with your knees bent and extend the ball above you. Then simply bring the ball to one side, return to the same position, and bring it to the other side. The next area that we're going into is the core area. The core area starts off with the plank. Get into a push-up position with your feet slightly wider than your shoulders and put yourself on your elbows. Your face should be pointing straight down and your fist should be pointing straight ahead. And squeeze your core for 60 seconds. To make this even harder, bring your feet closer together. And remember to squeeze your core throughout. The next core exercise is called the bird dog. You want to get down on all fours and lift the opposite leg and hand at the same time. Keep your head down and make sure it's in line with your spine. Try to make sure everything's straight. Now to make this exercise even harder, you can do it with straight legs, like so. The last of the 18 exercises is called the side plank with dumbbell. You want to start out by laying on one of your sides, put your feet together, and your hip on the floor. Make sure your elbow is bent and your forearms rest on the floor straight ahead of you. Grab the dumbbell and lift your hips up until your body is straight. Then lift the dumbbell up and hold it up for 60 seconds. Then switch to the other side after 60 seconds. Now if you can't do this for 60 seconds straight, you do it intervals of 15 seconds. The 3000 abs workout is a system. It focuses on four areas. Your lower abs, your upper abs, your obliques, and your core. Within the first three areas, there are five different exercises each. Now you can choose two exercises in each of these areas and one exercise in the last area. And that's how you make up different combinations. Maximum Fitness 3000 Abs Workouts, I give five stars. It's one of the most comprehensive ab workouts that I've found. It allows you to do a lot, build your own routines, 3000 possibilities, how can you go wrong? And if you don't have all the equipment, you don't need to use all the exercises, which is great. So you have options. I want to say thank you to the guys at Pump One for sending me this t-shirt. To the makers of Fitness Builder, which is a product that I review, it's an iPhone app that has tons of exercises on it, tons of capabilities, and if you're serious about working out or just casual about working out and you need some help, this is the application for you. Check out my site, I review it, I lost 16 pounds using it. So I will talk to you guys later, thank you for joining.